welcome back to my channel out of the box and I know it's been a few weeks since my last review but I'm back I actually got a little sidetracked I created a video about raising environmental awareness about pollution and I dressed as Mother Earth and I created this awesome costume and I actually have the video on my main page but I am back today because I have been itching to do a rig review I've been trying to find the time for that and today I had a few hours to compare the two styles by Bell Trust the brand new Nitro and uh, the older released Stumptown wig now to me these are two very similar wigs so today I'm gonna dive in to any differences and what's similar about them compare the lengths and I have them both in the color brown sugar sweet cream which that's what I'm wearing right now this is Shakerado love this no Shakerado I always say that wrong that aside I'm going to change into these and I'll see you in a second so first off this is the fabulous Nitro and I tell you I think I waited forever for this wig I found out about it back in May or June and I ordered it immediately I love this curl pattern it is very very unique and it is very on trend very modern which is very shattered looking almost like you took a curling iron left out the bottom and then just curled a little bit up to here and that is something that I want to perfect so much. I would just have to figure out how to do that because this is excellent craftsmanship and a beautiful, beautiful wave. Um, I personally love it because I like edgier styles and different things. I like to be a little on trend, but then I like to do my own thing as well. So this just pretty much defines that for me. So yes, I really, really like this curl pattern. As soon as I put this on my head, I immediately thought this looks like a longer stump town. I kind of thought that when I ordered it and I saw the pictures online that it does look like a longer stump town, but I wasn't sure to what degree until I actually received the wig. I also thought that this was a lot longer than what I the pictures online. I don't know if that's just me or not. I would be a little happier if it was about an inch or two longer. I think that would just be amazing. I'm really glad to get that I got this. I, I'm, you know, very happy with it. It's pretty glam too, but it, on the edgy side. Very shattered curl pattern and all that, all of the above. <laughs> It kind of reminded me of Rachel by John Renault. I don't know what it is about it. It's, I think it's the amount of hair that this has, but it is definitely a different kind of curl pattern. And the length too is pretty much the, the same as Rachel because that was my first lace front wig, my first luxurious wig after buying $30 wigs off of Amazon. Let's see what we have here. We have 5.3 ounces of hair on um, this one compared to Stumptown which is 4.8 ounces of hair so this is going to give you some more weight it's pretty medium density it's if you have peppermint or anything similar to that it's probably three times more hair as peppermint that's how I would describe it I haven't had a lot of time to uh, style this uh, but I do really think that it would look really cute back or pulled up on the side um, even with a hat I think this is gonna be the perfect winter hat wig for sure <laughs> I haven't tried it yet but I'm going to some of the nitros are not coming with this automatic lift right here so I was lucky enough I'm thinking when I ordered you know when I started started seeing pictures I'm thinking please when I get my nitro please have the lift please have the lift so this one has the lift, so I'm not going to have to do much with that at all. I think what I'm going to have to do is figure out a part here because I find that this is a little bulky around the part and I just can't seem to get that part right. I've messed with it off and on and I just can't figure out how to do that exactly. I might actually have to pluck a little bit of this and I haven't plucked a wig since my Amazon days. <laughs> and I'm going to turn around real quick and show you all sides of this.
Let's talk about this brown sugar sweet cream color real quick. I would describe it as a dark, medium, and light brown mix with a little bit of buttermilk thrown in, which is the blonde. So it's like a perfect marriage between browns and blondes. I'd also like to note that I don't pick up on any red tones at all in this wig. No strawberries, no reds, nothing like that, no coppers. It's just the perfect mi mixture of browns and blondes. So if you're on the fence on wearing blondes or maybe going darker, this might be a good color for you. Or opposite, if you're wearing brunette colors and you want to go a little blonde, this is a perfect, perfect color for that. Now we're going to get into comparing this with Stumptown. And that's a wig I'm very familiar with. So I'm going to put that on and we can compare. And here we have Stumptown. And what I noticed right away when I put this on my head is that there's a lot less hair. Um, where I find Nitro to be a little bulky, Stumptown is not. There's less hair through here on Stumptown. Of course, it is shorter. The sides on Stumptown are 12 inches, where Nitro's are 15.5 inches. So Stumptown's going to be three and a half inches shorter. Also, I noticed right away, too, that the curl pattern, where they added that little wave, of course, is up higher, where it kind of starts on my eyebrow and goes down, whereas with Nitro, it, uh, it, it's a little different the way it comes down and starts. Another thing that I really like about Stumptown in particular is that it's less hair, and so there's less, like, it dragging on the back of your clothes and things like that. I did wear Stumptown out to dinner the other night, and what I did the entire dinner was this. Pull this out of my, my eyes all night long, and I was just hoping that I had a clip in my purse, but I didn't, because I would have just easily clipped it back so the hair didn't keep falling in my food. <laughs> uh, Stumptown too, this particular one has a little bit of that lift like I was talking about that Nitro has and that's good too to keep it out of your eyes but there just seems to be just a little bit too much hair right here so uh it's just easy to clip back you know get a cute clip I really like this style a lot it's kind of funky and shattered very modern this is the shorter it is like a shorter version of Nitro. I, it just reminds me of it so much. The part on Stumptown it makes me much more happy than the, the bulky part of Nitro. Because this part, you can actually see through right here. So in with Nitro, I showed you before, the part is just very bulky. See that part in there? Let's compare that part with Nitro, which is little on the bulky side to Stumptown's part. And now here are all sides of Stumptown. And also before it got dark earlier, I ran outside and I took some videos outside. So here it is outside and you can see how it looks in the sunlight. That's a beautiful color, brown sugar sweet cream. I really love it. It is gorgeous. Like I said, it's a nice mixture of browns and blondes together. As far as similarities between Stumptown and Nitro, I find that definitely number one is the curl pattern. You notice with Stumptown earlier, that curl pattern started right around my eyebrow. Well, with Nitro here, it starts more down towards the middle of the style. And also what's different is that this seems to have an extra one. Where Stumptown has one of these little bumps, Nitro has two. So that's that's a difference there because you're getting more hair with this. This um, is 16.5 inches long where Stumptown is about, I think, 12 to 14 inches. So you're getting about a three inch difference in length between the two. Also, another similarity I would say is the way this swoops up and back away from the face. Like I said, not all of them come like this, but luckily 
both of mine did, and I really like this effect. There seems to be a lot more through here. It seems a lot thicker than with Stumptown. So that's a big difference right there. Also, I like the, the way that they the both of these styles have these nice razored ends. I think that's very cool. It just adds to the whole effect. Um, another thing, of course, is the color. The parts are a little different. As I said, this is a little more bulky. Now, I'm going to try a hat on and a few little styling things real quick. Well, I never wear these. They're prescription, too. I paid a lot for these, and they just sit up on my stand. Why? I look like an alien, but I like I probably wouldn't wear this out. Oh yeah, just like I thought, the perfect hat wig. And I think part of that reason is because where this curl starts, right there where you would put a hat. I'm so glad I tried this on. I'm so excited to wear this with this hat and my other hats. I have tons of hats. Hell, I'm half bald. Why wouldn't I have hats? And here it is with this purple hat too. And I really like this purple hat. The purple is my favorite color. What is your favorite color? Hmm, well hello. It's nice to meet you. So there you have it. Stone Town and Nitro. Two beautiful, cool, edgy wigs that I will wear all the time with love. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. This has been really fun. I needed this because I work all the time and I'm sure you do too. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel and check back with me because when I get a chance again, I'll be back with more reviews. Bye.